Management is never late. We're live, I think. The man can dream for the thingy. To be a manager. Good afternoon. Welcome to Friday live stream. The Black Friday. <laughs> it's I actually should have worn royal blue today, I realized, but I'm I'm wearing my Black Friday. Well, I'm out. wearing my royal blue, yeah. which looks almost black, but yes, it's, it's fine. It's true, we look quite dark. Um as I said in the description, we don't do Black Friday at Greater Westminster. No, no, no. We do we do our own thing. We do our own thing. We do us. We do we. So it is obviously that big event which has kind of transported itself over from the US of A. Hello to our US viewers today. Um, hopefully you didn't get crushed in the excitement of... In, in Best Buy. Yes. Trying to snatch a hundred inches TVs. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I think over the years, I saw something on, on uh, Instagram this morning where the BBC had gone into Curry's PC World or something and they were filming at midnight waiting for the doors to open and one solitary guy walked in the door. Mm. They'd sent the whole film crew. It's very sad. So we don't really do that over here, but we do have lots of discounts. And I thought, well, we've got Grey's Westminster Royal Blue Friday discounts and it's a day for kind of starting to think about your, dare I say it, Christmas shopping. Yeah. And, uh, and also buying things for yourself and photographic deals. So why don't we just talk about those? Sounds good. Yes. Sounds okay. good. I think Black Friday in UK started about seven, eight years ago, isn't it? So it was just started, lots of companies started to do this. I think it was a big thing when Amazon had a Black Friday event. And now in the last three years, it's just kind of a common occurrence, isn't it? And it is. I don't know. Yeah. I'm actually wondering if you're not in the US or the UK, wherever you are, like, for example, our Australian watchers and from other far reaches of the world, do you do a Black Friday thing over there? Um, Seth says it, he's in New York City. He said NYC mm -hmm. here. Black Friday is nuts here. Crazy. Ridiculous. Even. <laughs> That's good because, you know, I started to save up. Well, not save up, but not spend my money. For the whole November, preparing for this day. <laughs> the whole of November? The whole November. <laughs> How did you get on with that? Uh, well, I bought a couple of things today. Oh, did you? One of them mm. is standing desk. You bought a standing desk? Yes. Is this so that when you're editing for hours and on, on end? Exactly. Ah, that's very sensible, actually. Now I can do a 24-hour session. <laughs> And my butt is going to thank me. Sorry, my <laughs> bum. We're in England. <laughs> We're in England, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, it's very, 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 um, I think, good for one's health to have a standing yeah, desk. Absolutely. It's quite popular. Now I just need to buy some sort of like a running machine yes. or cycling machine. Then I can work. <laughs> and, you know, I can work my hands and I can work my legs at the same time. Treadmill. Exactly. One of those. Thank you to David for your contribution to the coffee fund. Thank yes, you. we do have the coffee fund on today. I'm going to just do a little... Um, I forgot my post-it. No, I remembered my post-it. Yay, well done me. So I wanted to do a little Nick on owner thing for our viewers specifically. Ooh. Because the new copy, if I can sort myself out, the new copy of Nick on owner... This one has come out. Um, it was actually, it began shipping on sort of Thursday, Friday. So it will probably arrive with people in the next couple of days, I'd imagine. So it's in the post already. Exactly. Um, beautiful magazine, first of all. But I thought, well, we haven't done an offer on Nikon Owner for probably about a year. Mm. So let's do something for the stream. And I spoke to the powers that be and we got the approval for, for a little offer. We have a deal for you. We do. So... There are a few varieties of subscription. We have like an online only version and then we have a physical magazine version and then we have, you know, two years with online only and two years with the physical magazine. So I'm going to try and keep it super simple, mm -hmm. super duper simple. Uh, we're just going to do the printed magazine off the, on offer mm -hmm. because if we do the online ones, then that, that means I have to give you like four different prices and that's very confusing. Mm -hmm. So if you do the what we call the silver subscription, which is the standard one year with the printed magazine, you get extended warranties, you get discounts off think tank bags and Hawks Mill and all kinds of things, then you can do that today for £64. It's like Bake it. Bake it. <laughs> it's a, you can do this today for <laughs> 64 months. pounds. This is uh, Becky and Con's QVC channel. Exactly. <laughs> However, if you would like to do a two year subscription with the physical magazine, then I have an extra special something. Ooh. But I forgot to bring one. Did I? 
No, I did not. If you do a two-year subscription. Ah, but there is more. There is more. You can do it for 175. It's two-year subscription. You get five-year warranties and all kinds of stuff. But you also get... Ah, uh, the infamous Nikon baseball cap. That's right. I've only got a few of those. So if you'd like to do that, then you can do it to the PayPal address that is in the link below. Please, please, please put Nick on owner in there. Otherwise, I'm never going to find it because I was trawling through the coffee fund <laughs> contributions mm -hmm. the other day. And I actually had to look through every single PayPal mm -hmm. transaction for the last month in order to find the ones that were missing. So if you'd like to do... Uh, just if you'd like to get the magazine for a bit cheaper for a year, £64. If you'd like to get the magazine for two years and get the baseball cap and all the bigger things, then um, then you can do it for 170 So that's actually £25 off, plus you get the cap. I think as long as it's not Z9 price, the rest is coffee fun. That's how <laughs> I look at it. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, so... Feel free to do that. That's going to run until, I mean, I'll let you do it until kind of like Monday. I'll let you do it. Yeah, Cyber Monday. As well. Cyber Monday. Why is it actually. Cyber Monday? I, I don't, there's a reason and I don't actually want to look it up right now. Um, <laughs> I don't want to know. Vince <laughs> says, aren't Mondays usually blue? It's true, but we're doing Blue Friday and it's a happy blue. Uh, thank you for your contribution to the Coffee Fund, Vince. Thank you to Ko Schmidt's photographer for your contribution. Ian Knox, Adrian Cochran, thank you so much. Jeremy Gist, uh, good afternoon from the cool principality of yeah. Cornwall. Uh, Jeff Brown for the Black coffee thank you very much i have a few other honorable mentions alan brooke who came in the other day and threw money at us no not really he was like make it rain <laughs> gave us a coffee fund contribution um and then i have a couple more but i have to find my document you'd think i was prepared but i was not so bear with me just one moment while i find that what's that gun that throw notes out I want that for Black <laughs> Friday. Oh, Secret Santa. Yeah. Oh, that would be good. That we would have, be good. We will have that. Yes, that coming. Okay. So I have to thank Ian Willard, uh, Randall. You. Thank you, Randall. Who did a contribution through the, the Coffee Fund PayPal as well. Nice. Roy Bigsby, thank you very much. Thank you, Roy. Thomas Carroll, Shane Baker, Joseph Crutchier. Can't pronounce that very well, sorry. And uh, Raina Shamel, thank you very, very much for your thank contributions. You very much, all. Super duper appreciated. Okay. So. I bought a couple of kilos of coffee on Black Friday, I can okay. tell you that. That's very important. Yeah. Okay. What what coffee? Did you get a good deal? Okay. I got a really good deal. I got 20% of coffee. So I got some Colombian. It was 24 pounds. Really? So with a discount. And then I also go for... Um, it's called industrial blend, and it's a mixture of Brazilian and Ethiopian coffee. So, and I enjoy it very much. So, I got a fruity one, and I also got one that is good with milk because my wife drinks milky coffee. Like me. Like you. Like I do. Exactly. She likes her flat whites. So I like my long blacks. Yes, yeah. exactly. I'm going to put the details of the subscription. I'm going to write it down so that people don't get confused. So excuse me while I multitask. We are lacking a producer, unfortunately. Two year printed magazine ah. plus free baseball cap now the oh. reason we have to do it with the um with the printed magazine and not with the electronic magazines is because postage is astronomical so i'm figuring i can actually get a baseball cap in the post with magazines so you flatten it nicely i won't flatten it but i can put it in like a large jiffy bag anyway oh, fair enough. it's all very like we do it all ourselves yeah <laughs> so so bear with us. Um, the um, the person that won the backpack hasn't come forward yet. Ooh. So if you did win the backpack, Dr. Robson, I think. It's okay, so she'll give it another week. Yeah. And if it's, let's say, if the owner doesn't come back to us and lost and found, then we're going to give it away again. Yes, yep. it's very true. Adrian says we should get a discount from the coffee shop. I've got some friends in the coffee shop, so yes. She gets it for free. Sometimes. <laughs> if I smile. No. <laughs> Not always. No, we came in the other day and... Uh, <laughs> I was like, can I have a coffee? He said, yes. How much do I owe you? And he looked at me and smiled. I'm like, what's going on? And then he said, is he new? <laughs> I said, no, he's not new, but he doesn't normally come and get a coffee with no, me. I make my own. <laughs> so I, you do. I always have a thermos with me. Yeah, even when we're out shooting in Greenwich, you carry it around with you everywhere. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so 
Yes, no, you 24 pounds of coffee. No, for 24 pounds. No, for 24 pounds a kilo of coffee. <laughs> right. So, yeah, which which is reasonable. I mean, coffee in UK from the, you know, micro roasteries, you know, so you generally have anything between, let's say, 18 pounds to, you know, if you go for something like Kenyan, it could go to 30 pounds and some weird ones. I mean, we're not talking, even, we're not even talking Jamaican or cat pool coffee stuff. No, just, just kind of regular artisan style. It's anything between 20 and 30 pounds, really. Yeah, exactly. Alan said, sorry, I missed you when you, I came into the shop on Tuesday. Yes. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're not normally on Tuesday, isn't it? No. So it's, it's editing day. It's that's after right. the podcast day. Yeah. Someone has to edit all the all the videos. Um, and that's us. <laughs> the person who has to do that is us. Seth said we should brand our own coffee. Mm. Like we were going to try and get our own brand of um, film. Maybe we should do coffee first, one thing yeah. at a time. Well, about what, five years ago, yeah. I was seriously looking into like opening either a cafe or roastery. Yeah. And I've done all the research and business plans at the time. So you That's never know. That's right. Then I remember I thought we were going to lose you to make your own, to start your own little barista bar. That's right. So the work has been done. So we may come back to that. Yeah, it's true. Grazos means the coffee. Coffee and cameras just go well yeah, together, except if you don't drink coffee. I'm drinking tea today. Well, so you can do tea as well because... Yes. Exactly. Like we went to a coffee festival and uh, instead of buying coffee, Becky bought tea. I did. (laughs) A lot of varieties of tea. So um, Joseph explains that Cyber Monday was because people would return to work after Black Friday and do online shopping um, when people didn't have computers at home. But there was a a tax reason for that as well. So there was some, some sort of, it's like it's got the whole thing in the United States. Quite possibly. Yeah. Quite possibly. But actually, while we're discussing all this, if... Anyone knows really good photographic deal or photography related deal mm. could be on anything, really. Software, PC parts, obviously accessories, filters, batteries, you name it. Uh, do put them in the comments below because any anywhere you are, because we've got views from everywhere. So if you can recommend a good deal, you write it down in the comments below. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay, so I needed a new computer for editing because my computer was dying a slow and painful mm-hmm. death mm-hmm. and would not tackle 4K resolution, let alone 8K when that's <coughs> coming. I mean, never in a million well, years. <coughs> is that nine? I know, yeah. but could you imagine me trying to edit anyway? Yeah, I, th- so. I think the day where we're going to start shooting the K, it's probably going to take some time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So 4K even was a bit of a struggle for my old laptop. And uh, so I thought, okay, it's time to get a new laptop. We trawled the internet everywhere to try and find the best deal. And there were various things like, you know, oh, um, John Lewis will price match such and such a place. And obviously the Apple store are doing their vouchers if you buy from them and stuff like that. But actually Costco... Costco. Which is an American company, but we have Costco.co.uk in the UK. If you're a Costco member, you can get about £200 off uh, off MacBooks and about £100 off PCs. Yeah, pretty good. I think the MacBook with a a 10-core M1 Pro, yeah, and one terabyte hard drive, 16 gig RAM, is £2,069. I mean, it's a lot of money, but it's a very good package for what you get. Yeah. Uh, and the cheaper version, I think, of, uh, instead of like 18 99 it's like 17 99 So it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a reasonable discount for Mac. You normally get more on PC laptops. Yes, yep. yes exactly. You get more bang for your buck if you're, if you're a PC person. Um, Nick Han said he's got his magazine, which is great, and says we should call it Beckon or Convec Coffee. I like bacon. Beckon, beckon Coffee. Like beckon. Yes, I think that could work, actually, because um, yeah. people wouldn't necessarily know it's quite subtle. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Reed says, what about coffee and laptops, Con? Ooh. Mm. <laughs> yes, my poor laptop was brand, yes. brand new at that time. Anyway, literally spilling the tea. Uh, Seth explained that actually tax thing was is gone now, but it used okay. to be that you didn't have to pay tax across state lines. Okay. Now you do. It's all an even playing field. So that's interesting. Um, oh, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving for yesterday to all of our American watchers uh, or those of you who are in the USA that have been forced to eat turkey yesterday. We do turkey at Christmas time in the UK. I don't think you do that over there. Um, Rad is visiting London from NYC this weekend. Ooh. Very exciting. We're not open on the on Saturday and Sunday, so don't come into the shop on Saturday or Sunday. I wonder <laughs> is if, today. you know if Rad is coming with Anya Labovitz, who is also stopping by in London. She yeah. has this thing in Barbican on Monday. Yes. So I wonder if they're connected. Maybe, maybe mm. you can let us know. Um, and. 
Alan said, I had a coffee at the coffee shop opposite. It was very nice. Nice. Yes. Oh, Raf was the one that actually threw the money at me, Alan. So it was you. Thank you very much, Alan, for your, for your coffee. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> very, very much appreciated. Yes, we have a coffee shop across the road, which is called The Roasting. It's lovely. Um, actually, when we had our Z9 open day, yes. well, not open day, that's a, that's a false advertising. It was a appointment yeah. day. With Rob McNeil. With Rob. Um, if people turned up early or they, you know, um, had a few extra spare minutes, we, we actually bought coffees for them across the road. So we do things like that. We're nice. <laughs> Um, someone, Randall, I think it was, no, David Liu, which is Dixon, said uh, Peak Design has a sale. That will be in the US because in the UK they don't. I no, don't they do UK oh, sale as well. Yeah, got I've got the email sale. as well. I think it's about 20% or something. Wow. Have a look. Yeah. That's good. Um, Canary Wolf does look amazing. Andrew said London Christmas lights and shopping tomorrow. We are actually going to do a Christmas lights live stream, aren't we? Is it a live stream we're going to do? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, we yes, are. Yes. We talked about this. We are doing this. Yes. <laughs> um, in a few weeks time, uh, when it's just a little bit darker around this time, we might even have to just schedule the stream for half an hour later just to get the get the most of the Christmas lights. To get the ambiance. Mm, exactly. Um, so... If if we do end up pulling that off, then we'll do a London Christmas lights one, which would be amazing. You know, we might actually need to have LED somehow as well because if it gets to dark, light our faces. yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's great. It's gonna be uh, <laughs> like I'm gonna hold uh, gimbal in one hand and LED in another hand. It's gonna and hopefully I'll survive for uh, one hour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Rahul said, "Is there gonna be a successor to the Nikon D7500?" That's an interesting question. We don't know because it's Black Friday, so you know. <laughs> no, that's not why we don't know. We don't know because. We genuinely don't know, but I'd be very interested to see what they would possibly do with that. I think the concentration is going to be solely mirrorless now. Yeah, the question we have is what's going to happen to DSLRs in general? Yeah. So, and uh, it's really difficult to answer at the moment. We don't know. We Like, I think the D3500, that's supposed to be replaced by the Z30. So if that happens, then what's going to happen to other cameras? So yeah. it's a, such a, you know, like at the moment, I would say give it, at least probably a month now. Nothing will happen probably till mid-January and even maybe till end of January. So at the moment, yeah, we won't know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, Alex said you should take a trip up to Northumberland next year. We should take a trip how, up to Northumberland yeah, next year. Yeah, how far year. is it? I don't know how far it would be from, from us because yeah. we're a bit further south. We generally kind of troll within an hour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if it's longer yeah. to drive than an hour that, or, or by train, then, yeah. then we're like, mm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> but yes, we should. There are places where we should go further afield. Absolutely. Yeah, not definitely. Um, Willennium, oh, I love your handle, oh. <laughs> says when visiting the shop, do you still need to book an appointment? Absolutely not. You can drop in any time you feel like, except when we're closed, which yeah. is on the weekends. But mm -hmm. you can absolutely drop in. No need to make an appointment at all. Um, Nick said, take the Rotolite Neo 2. Yes, that's a good one. I don't have one, but that's a good Expensive one. Expensive one as well. Yes, it is. Uh, now, there were some mentions of filters. Yes, Richard says, K's Filters Black Friday online offer 10% off. Just ordered my Wolverine magnetic filter mm. set. Mm. That's a good one. The other one, um, a regular watcher of ours is Patrick from H&Y. Mm -hmm. They have uh, various different Black Friday offers as well. Yeah, we're going to see him at some point. Yeah, he's so. going to pop into the shop. Yeah. We just need to align our schedules so that we can do that. So, yeah. Um, cameras, clocks and watches said you should bring your cameras to Cambridge. Mm. I'd love to go to Cambridge. Well, it's one hour by train is not bad. Yeah, yeah we can do that. <laughs> we so manage that. It's one hour. It works for us. Yeah, yeah, we should. Absolutely. Alex said, no worries. Leo Photo have a sale on for Black Friday as mm -hmm. well. Um Yes, absolutely. There's a f there's quite a few places that do. One that I wanted to highlight mm -hmm. um, is Affinity Photo. So if you are not a Adobe person, let's say, let's say that you you if you're not that person, you're not that person. You don't really like Adobe products, or you don't want to pay for the subscription, but you need an editing software that will work with a modern camera, which is quite difficult if you don't do the, the subscription thing. Yeah, Affinity Photo is uh, in the UK £32.99 for this weekend. And the iPad version is like £8.99. Okay, so makes sense. So very reasonable. The good thing about Affinity, and, and one reason why I did use it for a little bit, was uh, because 
they constantly, they will always update themselves. You don't have to buy any extras in order to get it updated for... Yeah, because normal of this schedule is about a year for a lot of programs. Mm. So I don't think they do that that often. Do you, do you need to upgrade every half a year or so, every year? Uh, about They do updates, yeah, about every half a year. So yeah, but it's not like a pay paid... Okay, well, that's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. So in terms of like a, a an inexpensive way to edit your photos with a professional editing software that isn't an Adobe product, then Affinity are doing that. Um, I think it's 30% off. Okay, but if you need a professional software, and you don't mind paying a subscription. I know it's a controversial topic, so we're not going to talk about that. But if you need a professional software, then Adobe has a Black Friday deal where instead of £50 a month for the full suite, mm -hmm. uh, it's £30, £34 a month for the full suite. So it's reasonable if you think that Photoshop and uh, Lightroom is 15 quid, and if you need any other software, like let's say Premiere Pro, which we use for our work, so we kind of, we pay for that because we use that. Yeah. Um, and sometimes like Illustrator, Audition, which is all the audio package. So if you need that, if you're a new professional photographer where it's your bread and butter, so it's kind of part of your monthly expenses anyway, then £30.34 is better than £49.99. It is. Is it one month only or for 12 months, does it, it say? Well, it just says subscription, so if effectively they don't say it's that it's for whole year, you basically pay it monthly, that's it. So Because okay. they used to do deal where you say it's for the first year, and then they bump you up at the end of the of the year, but that one just says that it's just going to be monthly like this. There's no cutoff period on that. Okay, so, yeah. that's interesting. It's good to know. So um, a couple of people are advocating Affinity Photo as well. Alex and Lee both said, and Dave both all said that um, Affinity is great, much easier than Photoshop. It is an absolute bargain for sure. Um, cameras, clocks, and watches said the NX Studio surprisingly useful and free. I need to spend more time with that software actually because I used to use Capture NX. Uh, D with no problems and even Capture NX2 in the old days mm -hmm. um, but I haven't experimented with NX Studio which is the new iteration of it so so that's very good to know thank you uh, it is also completely free mm -hmm. Sam, as well as yeah, NX Tether uh, as well as NX Tether exactly uh, Sam said plenty of offers but nothing for me Urban Decay is another thing though mm. makeup makeup yeah that's yeah. why you said urban decay mm. i was like i have no idea mm. Mm. <laughs> yes <laughs> like thinks confused in and there's in nothing speak. to see in my eyes <laughs> just emptiness uh, for anyone who's interested trini london are doing 10 percent off yeah. as well yeah <laughs> yeah so if you want to get that london look <laughs> No, that's uh, Rimmel, the, uh, the yeah, London look. Potato, potato. Anyway, yeah, um. uh, so Terry said, Affinity Designer and Publisher are great as well um, as Photo, and they integrate with each other, a worthwhile package. This is very good to know. Capture One is also a perpetual licensed photo editing software. This is from Yaman. Uh, a bit more expensive, but amazing functionality, and you own it. I do really like that, you know, as he says, perpetual licensed photo editing software, where you buy it and it's yours forever. That, I like that. I don't. I, like I know what the you mean. I know what you mean. But this, like, I don't. Want, I'm not a supporter of subscription. No. But if you look at it as a kind of, unfortunately, the the everyday evil, yeah, that you have to you know encounter. So then, you just stick with it, and it's fine. Like if you make money from your photography, it's just part of the expense. You all, you know, you keep it in one package. You don't need to learn the interface. I think that's the benefit of Adobe. I'm not advocating you to use that. Use what you like. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing. NX Studio is very capable software. And if you're happy with using it, then just stick with it. So everyone is different. And that's the thing. I, I don't want to particularly advocate for subscription or anything no. like this. So. No, exactly. It's, it, yeah. Different things work for different people. Thank you, Sam, yeah. for that tip. I will yeah. check that out. By the way, Thanks. we have Seth Miranda in the chat. Hi, yes, Seth. Yes, Seth. I know. That's who I've been reading yeah. the comments from <laughs> when I was saying Did Seth. you mention it? Yes, okay. I did. Okay. Fine. Hi, I've Seth. listened to the question. Yes. So, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've enjoyed the stream with um, Rich and Matt Irvin with you. So that was yes, good. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Exactly. It was very good um so the eight layer man said i bought photoshop elements 2022 from groupon for 35 pounds here we go yeah that's, that's a reasonable. really good deal um yep. photoshop elements does most of the things that photoshop will do yep uh so i in fact i was using i think photoshop elements 2009 for about 10 years mm. uh, and it was working fine until they stopped supporting Ooh, actually another software bit if you're into like audio recording and things like this mm. so yeah like we record a podcast isotope elements is about something like 29 bucks on Isotop, which is really good for noise reduction and some like the essing, the humming, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a reasonably good deal. So There you go. I know that um, Analog Wonderland are doing, I don't think they're doing money off, but they are doing a sort of free surprise gift, lucky dip gift with your purchase. Mm. Um, the code, I don't know if it still works, but the, um, the code was 
Grays underscore five if you were a first time customer of Analog Wonderland. Mm. Um, it's probably, if you go and have a look at one of our older streams I, where I was talking about film photography, I think that we've actually put it in the description box there. As far as I know, that one still works. So um, so yeah, but also if you're a first time buyer, you can sign up for their newsletter and get 5% off. Paul doesn't send masses of newsletters. They're very personal. They're very kind of only when he has something to say, so you don't get bombarded either. Um, and it's, it's just a lovely company to work with. If, for those of you who've seen our little tour around oh, yeah, Analog nice Wonderland, guys. Absolutely. You'll know that um, we had a lot of fun over there that day. Uh, so then I think apart from software, mm -hmm. right, uh, and apart from Costco laptops. <laughs> yeah, because it's MacBook. Yeah. You know. um, what, what else did you find? Well, I got more hardware for you. So, oh, you um, yes, because I've looked at the hard drives. There's a really good uh, deal in UK on Western Digital Store. You can buy an external 18 terabyte hard drive. This is, I think, the largest one they do yeah. for 259 pounds. This is a really good deal. Now, we're not going to, you know, if you want to, um, me talking about backup, do check out our previous live streams about this. So, and obviously, it's the largest hard drive you can get. You can buy couples. So, you know, whatever people are going to say, buy smaller because one will fail. Let's just move on from that and just say 18 terabytes for 259 pounds is a really good deal. It's yeah. external one. So, you can hook it up to your laptop. You can what people call shank it, so which means open it up and take the hard do. drive out. That's what I do normally <laughs> with my hard drives. And let's say I'm gonna, um, I bought one, I'm gonna replace my Synology, now it's back up, I'm just gonna take it out, take my eight terabyte out, stick an 18 terabyte, et cetera, et cetera. But nice. what I, the reason why I needed it because with our YouTube production- we'll talk slow. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna speak so slow. <laughs> I am excited. Um, with our YouTube production, yeah. let's say our podcast ends up being about 40, 50 gigabyte per film, so per, per one shoot. Oh, so. Wow. You know, and uh, obviously it's about 10 terabytes of uh, proper audio, you yeah. know, high high quality. And then, yeah, so 10 terabytes of this, 40 terabytes of 4K footage. So, and it all needs to be stored. I don't delete anything. I'm a hoarder, so I want to keep it. So one, one when my kids are 25, <laughs> I'm going to show them. Um, <laughs> when your grandkids come around, you can show them, this is what we did. <laughs> exactly. You know, and that's in 4K. Remember, it's, it's, you know, it's a, you now have 25K resolution or something. And, yeah. you know, it all looks very small. Yeah. So that's for storage. Now, if you need a really fast storage, which is SSD, say, uh, solid state drives, there's a really good deal on, again, Western Digital Black, which is considered one of the top generation four hard drives. So the writing speeds there are something like 7,000 no, 7, reading speed and about 5,500 uh, writing speed. Wow. So again, if you're storing files, let's say your raw files on it or your video footage on it, it just makes software like Lightroom or Premiere Pro or any other video editor uh, to work much faster with them. So it's a kind of a temporary solution while you're working on the project. So mm. I think, yeah, two terabytes is 249. This is for uh, latest gen um, solid state drive. And I think you can get one terabyte for about 130. It's again from either you can buy it in UK in eBay, Amazon, or Western Digital Store. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, a bit I mean, niche, but uh, you know, for is. people who are interested in that, it's a good deal. Well, also, I mean, everybody edits photos or stores them somewhere in some form, mm -hmm. right? And if you're storing your pictures digitally, then that's uh, then that's a very good tip. Those, those files really do add up as well. That's true. I that's mean, the thing. E even our little, you know, six minute videos come out at a couple of gig. Yeah in 4K, yeah. and you've then got to do something with that, so. Again, 4K exported podcast is about 10 gig. Yeah. So again, it takes, on, on UK broadband speeds, which are quite low, it takes like one to two hours just to upload to YouTube. Mm. It's a long time. It is, it is. <laughs> so now you know all the pain that goes into uh, to getting those episodes live for you. Uh, Paul said, Grey's underscore five at Analog Wonderland is a dead code. Paul, have you bought from them before? Because it's only a code that works if you haven't bought from them before. Uh, if you have bought from them before, unfortunately, I, I don't think we have a code for that. Oh, it's for the first time. It's, yep. Yeah, okay. exactly. Um Michael, George, thank you, Michael, for your contribution thank to the you. Coffee Fund. Says, Analog Wonderland not producing color prints yet. Get them to sort that out, please, for my trees picks. We were talking about trees uh, on email the other day mm -hmm. and my slight obsession with them. Uh, yes, they're not producing color prints, but they are developing. The Wonder Lab is back open after a few mm. technical glitches. Uh, so you can get your C41 processed again, yay, which is very good. Um, and then Alex asked a question. He said, if you had a choice of the 70 to 200 F 2.8 with Z mount two times converter mm -hmm. or 500 PF with FTZ2 adapter, like which one mm -hmm. would you go for? 
Well, it's, there's no clear answer. It's a, it is a difficult one to answer because I personally love I love the 500 PF and that would be my choice. But um, I'm not a, I don't like the 70 to 200 with the two times converter in particular. I like it with the 1.4 actually it works really nicely with the 1.4. But with the two times, I just find it kind of it falls off a bit too yeah. much for me. But the thing is, it depends on, on your needs personally, because mm. if you just need a longer round, then get a 500. But if you do shoot mostly between 70 and 200 and you need an occasional longer end, then get 700 and teleconverter. So there's no clear card there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, Nick Vass says 10% off refurbished products on the Nikon USA website, which mm. is good. Uh, speaking of refurbished products, the Flash Center, I was having a look this morning. Yeah, the Flash Center they are doing, they're doing like 20% off uh, secondhand and refurbished. And mm. then they're doing a whole load of offers on, you know, expensive like BenQ monitors and, mm. and stuff. So if you are, or and they do an Elencrom uh, yeah. well, bundle. Okay. Where you get free accessories if you buy, yeah. like their basic bundle, let's say is about 570 pounds. You get another load of okay, accessories. That's pretty good. I bought my Alien Crumbs from them about 10 years ago. There yeah. you go. And they're still going strong. Still going strong. Yeah, exactly. So uh, so those are the, the offers outside. Is there anything else that you had before I talk about Gray's offers? We have no, some let's offers. talk about Gray's offers. We talk about Gray's offers. Yeah. First of all, please do give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Um, we would absolutely love it if you would. It just it helps the channel. Um, it's very quick and easy to do. And there's like 225 of you watching. So please do give us a thumbs up. We'd massively appreciate it. Um, Richard Roberts is asking what laptop slash desktops do you guys have? Okay, so I use a, a Mac Mini M1. Mm -hmm. That works well for video processing. I am about to upgrade also for my laptop because my laptop is ancient. <laughs> She's getting a good one. I am. The one from Costco. <laughs> the one from Costco. It was on a, a deal that I could not possibly refuse. But also um, editing on my old MacBook Pro 2015 was just not working for me, unfortunately. It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of, despite having changed the motherboard and the screen and the battery last wow. year, it's still, it's still just not working. Okay. It's just about to die. How old is it? 2015. It's okay, it's not bad. Uh, I mean, yeah, but it's, it's been six years. I mean, beaten up by my my 12 year old. <laughs> so that's like double the years. <laughs> exactly. It's like, what's it in dogs' years? Yeah, you know? it's, so, yeah exactly. It's... Yeah. Um, so thank you, Rad, for your contribution thank to the you. coffin. Very, very, very much appreciated. Uh, what do you use for the video editing? Uh, I built my own PC um, oh, yeah. early last year. That's right. Uh, so uh, Ryzen 5900X. Process uh, uh, 32 or 64, 64 gig RAM. Nice. Because why not? Um, <laughs> because we all yeah. need that. Yeah, uh, NVIDIA 3080 video card. That's a retail price, not the double or triple they're going for now. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, those are the main things. And then obviously lots of uh, memory. So I got uh, uh, one terabyte SSD for my uh, current work and one terabyte SSD M2 type for my operating system and the rest are just hard drives for storage basically so yeah just gonna zone out yeah. here for a bit now uh, yeah when <laughs> I looked at the prices building yourself um, was a very good option so it's it's cheaper than let's say buying from someone uh, but if you're looking at, at like if you're looking to build one now the problem is scarcity of parts very difficult to find especially video cards still out of stock pretty much everywhere yeah MacBook Pro, the M1 Pro and M1 Max laptops do provide a very good value for what you what you get in the package. So normally Apple is being treated as overpriced stuff. So it's well made, but overpriced, what yeah. a lot of people say. Yeah, a lot of people don't like that. But currently with this release, and even even uh, last year's and ones for a thousand pounds is a really good value and performer. The current ones are amazing. Uh, they can easily handle 8K even right now which is, you know, Z9 is not even out. So, you know, yeah. and it still will do it r really, really well. So that's how good they are. So if you need a powerhouse, definitely have a look at the latest MacBook Pro. Yeah, exactly. It's interesting, different people using different methods and thank you for your words of wisdom and advice as well. Uh, anyway, well, I will be fully up to date. You know, I did all of the live streams when we very first started doing live streams from home mm -hmm. on my 2010, early 2010 iMac. Yeah. Things a beast. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I'd up, upgraded the memory, but apart from yeah. that, it was basically as it was from. 
from a dial-up connection. Yeah, almost. Okay. Uh, so, so it's amazing what these old things can do. That's true. That's true. That's <laughs> the thing. Um, my wife still has my MacBook Pro from 2012, still going strong. If you're not editing photos, I no, think that absolutely. they'll all work perfectly. Or if you're not a gamer, yeah. they're amazing browsers. You <laughs> can <laughs> open 30 tabs in Chrome and it still will manage them. Exactly. Um, thank you very much, Terry, for your contribution thank to you. the Coffee Fund, and Paul also uh, wonderful. Yes, I heard Nick that the latest iMac is also pretty powerful. I need something a bit more portable to replace my laptop. Um, but but the Mac Mini is great. It doesn't lag or anything. I'm actually quite I quite like it mm. as a yeah. As it, a setup. it would be portable. The only thing is it doesn't have screen. No, yeah. then I have to carry the screen around yeah. with me. Do to do that would be great. Um, and yes, Richard said I think 16 gig is now the minimum. I mean, it certainly is if you're going to do pretty much anything involving opening an editing software and listening to music yeah. at the same time. <laughs> but also the, amount, the the quantity of the process are quite important as well. Yes. If you're doing a lot of multitasking and also if you're exporting a lot, even let's say exporting raw files to JPEG, converting to JPEGs, uh, the more process means the, it will export much faster. Exactly. Michael George said, scanning laser soft imaging offering 25% discount on their software updates. Uh, good start. What's laser soft? Sorry, is it the silver fast? Uh, I think it's the same company, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I was looking at that. I, I have a view scan, but what I don't like about LaserSoft Imaging is they sell the license to a scanner that you have. Ah. So if you update your scanner, you need to have a separate scanner. I'm in a position, in a lucky position, where I have a Nikon scanner mm -hmm. as well as Epson scanner. Ah. And if I want to have a full version, I have to fork out 400 euros for a Nikon version and then another 300 euros for Epson. And I don't think it's very good. I think I should be paying for one license and that should cover all the scanners. Yeah. But, you know, th that's what I don't like about LaserSoft personally. I think they would have more users if they would just kind of review it a little bit. So, you know. But they're doing 25% off. If still expensive. <laughs> still, still expensive. Very expensive for what it is. So that's why I kind of stick with the view scan, but I did trial uh, Silverfast demo version is really, really good. It's just, I can't justify the course. Yes, fair enough. So. Um, thank you, Randall, for your contribution to the Coffee Fund. He says, for Christmas, I'll get the 40 mil F2 and the 28 F2.8 waiting for the next generation iMac, which should nice. be out next year. Very nice. Um, I like both of those lenses very much. Yeah. We've managed to have them for more than five minutes and actually have a proper play with them. Thank you very much to Brian for, you know <laughs> what, uh, for, for loaning the 40 mil to me so that I could actually try it out. I, I do really like that lens very, very much. And a lot of people are, are very impressed with the results that are coming from the 28 mil little pancake. Um, I went out yesterday with the 18 to 140. Mm -hmm. Also had my little 50 mil macro, which is another small lens. And I have to say that I'm really enjoying these small lenses on the Z system. It makes them so much more portable. I was pleasantly surprised with 18 to 140 um, for its size and also performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, thank you, Brian, <laughs> for your contribution to the coffee fund for Beckon Coffee. Thank you. Uh, it's going to be a thing, Con. I call it bacon. Anyway. Bacon. Don't call it bacon <laughs> coffee because no, nobody will know. Mm. Um, now, Paul says Silverfast is a terrible deal, but ViewScan is far, far better due to licensing. Well, that's that, that's exactly my point. I wish Silverfast would be a bit more competitive because it is, th there's little features that are better in Silverfast than ViewScan. ViewScan is terrible from user face, um, interface. user interface um, point of view, user face um, <laughs> point of view. So, um, but once you learn how to use it, then ViewScan becomes, you know, quite good. But Silverfast is just a little bit user more user friendly, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, bye to Seth, who has to dash. Bye, Seth. Thank you for joining bye, us. Seth. Um, and uh, Alex was asking if I've considered trying iPad Pro. I mean, I use my iPad Pro. It's my travel computer actually at the it's moment a beautiful browser <laughs> it's great no, i write i've written 90 percent of the four five six seven books the I've best written. selling novels that yeah available on amazon four five of them have been written on my ipad pro uh -huh. so i use it as a so becky do you have a black friday sale on your books no but my i'm gonna just mention it now because i'm here my my next book is coming out next october with headline Ooh, accent yes. press and uh, i will undoubtedly talk about it more between now and then but you can pre-order it off amazon i you mean yeah. Witness her now because once she gets a movie deal, <laughs> we won't see her anymore. No. <laughs> um, and it's under my nom de plume, which is Rebecca Hardy. It's actually my maiden name. So if you look for A House of Lost Wives, 
on Amazon, you'll find it. So, but if you go on Amazon and you want to buy your books, it's, uh, it's Rebecca Hardy. If you type in and search, that go come up. Yeah, yet, exactly. So. Rebecca Danese for the for the indie published ones. Rebecca Hardy for the one that's coming out oh, in October. Wow. I okay. know it's a whole thing. Um, thank you, Ian, for your contribution you. to the Coffee Fund. So, has a question. Uh, using a D800 mostly for studio work, would I benefit anything by getting a D850? I mean, I would say it depends on a lot of things. The D850 is a big step up from the D800 in terms of file size, revolution, dynam re dynamic range. Um, even the autofocus system is remarkably better. But it, yeah. it does depend on if you're doing studio work and you're just doing, for example, product shots and you're happy with the file sizes that are coming out of the D800, then probably you won't see a huge difference. Yeah. If you're doing sort of studio portraiture or anything that is maybe a little bit more demanding. Yeah, a bit more dynamic, I would say. Yeah, a bit of movement involved in that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, then the D850 will will make a difference. It is a beautiful camera and it's a really, really nice upgrade. Um, Paul was saying ViewScan also works with old Nikon scanners. This is true. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, one of the issues with old Nikon scanners is that there's no software to support them and no operating system to support them now because they're so they were discontinued yeah. years ago. And you know what? As well, when we were talking about let's say asking for paid upgrade for bits of software, I bought my ViewScan license I think back in 2010 or so, and it's I haven't paid anything extra. Mm. So, you know, that's a good thing. So I wasn't asked for to, uh, you know, pay for like another like half price for the update or something. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, Michael said that is DX now on Nikon's back burner despite the new mirrorless Z50 and ZFC? Uh, I don't think so. No. I think that actually the Z50 and the ZFC and the DX lenses that have just come out and the one that's on the roadmap, one or two that are on the roadmap, can't remember. Well, oh, yeah, I mean, Z30 is, uh, you know, being rumored that it's ready and mm -hmm. it's just a matter of parts, you know, so but once they kind of can get enough parts to produce it, then it will be out. Yeah, exactly. So I don't think so at all. And just because I am a sort of part-time DX user as well, I think that the what they've done with the ZFC is really, really important. I think you should get a T-shirt. I'm a part-time DX part -time user. Part-time DX user. Yeah, yeah. I only shoot raw when I have to. Yeah. Anything house <laughs> um oliver said i'm waiting for the 24 and 20 i had a play with one at the nikon school workshop on wednesday at ashridge house with neil rishi and joe yay yeah looking forward to the interview and absolutely loved it the 24 and 20 is a great lens um ashridge house is a beautiful location if it hadn't been quite so far away and if we hadn't already had a shoot booked we were actually gonna try and it's not one hour from london no it's a little bit more okay um we were gonna try and do that <laughs> and then yeah interview the full interview with joe will come out next tuesday so stay tuned yes yeah exactly that's imminent um and roy said d850 has pixel peaking i think he means focus peaking for manual focus mm. um great in the studio it's just more resolution as well which is really really nice yeah. <laughs> nick can said house of lost wives and husbands in the pub that's the sequel no i'm joking mm. <laughs> oh dear so uh any recommendation for a new backpack or my camera gear? Maybe not your usual brands or maybe brands you have used yourself currently or previously. So this is a good question, Alex. First of all, we do have offers. We should probably talk about those. Ooh, yeah, um, yeah. So the first offer is 10% off Think Tank. Uh, depends on what you want to put in it, Alex. If you tell us what you would like to put in the backpack, then I can probably recommend a backpack for you. So we've got 10% off Think Tank. We've got 10% off Hawksmill. They don't do backpacks, but they are beautiful bags. Mm -hmm. um, we, I'm sorry, didn't mean to hit the microphone. Uh, we kind of use two different brands. I use Billingham. Con uses Peak Design. Mm -hmm. You have the Everyday Backpack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the smaller one, the 20 liter version. Yeah. yeah, and I use the Billingham 35, which as of today, they've just announced in navy and chocolate. Um, Is that the one you wanted originally? Yeah. And they said, no, we don't do that. Yeah. Okay. So if anyone would like a barely used sage and chocolate 35 backpack and wants to uh, buy, swap it, <laughs> used by Becky. I'd like a blue one. Um, but uh, I mean, a girl can never have too many camera bags, <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> True. So uh, I use that one. It's a bit tight for some things. For example, today I was quite happily able to fit ZFC 18 to 140. I had my actual my Peak Design little tech pouch thing, mm -hmm. the microphones. I had a 50 mil macro in yeah, there. Yeah, tech pouch is great. A few other bits and pieces. I had loads of stuff in there. and But if you put in anything bigger, then it's a squeeze. So I would say 
that will do for most things and yeah. it's a good day bag you can pull out the internal pockets and then just use it as yeah. a standard bag but also ask yourself what do you want to use it for if it's for, well, let's say city strolling it's a, it's a one type of backpack mm. if it's a professional shoot which you know normally you'd put more stuff in you know then it's a different ba backpack it could be a rolling case as well at the same time if it's a hiking backpack it's got very different requirements very true so really depends on your needs everyone is different as well so in terms of this yeah i would just write down things what you need in a backpack and then it should give you a better answer yeah exactly roy actually said it's good to lay it out on a table so you can yeah. see what backpack you need that's another way to do it um have a look on our website alex you'll probably see a few of the offers on there in terms of other offers that we're doing so we have uh 15 percent off second hand lenses mm -hmm. that's on top of some of the lenses we have are already discounted like the 1424 and the 105 macro just because we have quite a few of them at the moment so the 15 percent is on top of the discount that's already there it's they're mm -hmm. discounted by 25 percent in total wow. basically it's good. it is good so you've got that the maximum discount i believe is 200 pounds you can't pay by finance but anyway you can you can uh pay any other method paypal whatever um we accept all major credit cards. No, I'm joking. <laughs> do we take Visa cards? Uh, we do okay. take Visa cards. And then uh, we're also doing 10% off all new filters. So we stock obviously Nikon and Hoya, some Kenko. Uh, so if you need some filters, then we've got that. All of that stuff is on our website. Um, and then Nikon hmm. did this shocking offer of like 400 and I have to find it now, 400 and something pounds off the Z7. It's also okay. on our website. That's really good, actually. Uh, I need to find it. Now, if it's 400 pounds off and then you put the latest firmware upgrade on it, yeah. mm, that yes. becomes a really, really good deal. Exactly. Now, our firmware update comparison test is going to come out on Sunday. That's ready now <laughs> after a few hiccups. And uh, I, I have to say, I was really, really impressed with, uh, with that, actually. So... The Z50 mm -hmm. all kit variants are about a hundred and what is that? 180 pounds off. Mm -hmm. The Z6 looks like it's 200 and it's about 250 pounds off mm -hmm. for a Z6 body, which is our cameras. We, we both use Z6s. And then the Z7. It looks like 350 pounds off, if my math is correct. 350. Could be right. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty good. Yeah, exactly. So all of those, I mean, we don't have stock of some of them and we do have stock of others, but Nikon are actually still supplying Z6 and Z7 so we can get them from them, no problem. Um, someone did ask if we were going to have Z7 2 2470 kits in before Christmas. We hope so. We have them on order. I'm not entirely sure, but that's, mm -hmm. the, that's the general idea. Roy said, John Hughes, you should buy your dear wife a wheelbarrow for christmas to carry everything mm. in bless her <laughs> um yeah I mean, the offers are available online we do ship internationally but if you want to if you're outside of the uk or europe then you just need to call us to place your order rather than doing it online just because our website doesn't have the ability doesn't have the security check system thing for for overseas that's why mm. if you're in the us or australia or anywhere else then you just give us a call and speak to one of our lovely salespeople downstairs um Right, a couple of uh, recommendations on backpacks. Mm -hmm. uh, Tenba backpacks, never used those or heard of those actually. No, no, they are. Yeah, they're real. Oh. <laughs> they exist, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Helpful. Um, Oliver uses his Peak Design everyday yeah. backpack. Yeah, good backpack. It's a lovely backpack. Um, I do find 20, which is, is I have a smaller one. It's good for day to day use, but if you want to stuff more things in it, you need a bigger version. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, Sam says that three-legged thing have brought out some new bags. I didn't see that. That's I missed that. Was it Matthew? Yeah, no. or <laughs> Probably. <yeah. laughs> they should have some Irish name, like Kieran or something. They're, you know? they're named after like famous rock stars, music. Oh, stars. I see. I thought it was, they had just random name generators. No. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, and Jeremy says I'm loving my Nikon roll top backpack. They had those. Well, Nikon doesn't make their own backpacks. They normally commission someone else. Yeah, I so, wonder yeah. who made those ones. They used to do these lovely leather bags. They did a leather backpack, quite small. Oh, we got them from Japan, right? Yeah, yeah. we got them from Japan. and it, Enough to fit like a DSLR and a, and a prime lens and then a few other bits and pieces that you need to wander around with. Um, but they were beautifully made. I don't know who made them. Uh, probably very hard to get hold of now. Mm. 
Uh, and then, oh, Jeremy, thank you. Music to my ears. So don't forget to vote in Amateur Photographer Awards. Yes, we have been nominated for a Good Service Award. If I could point the camera that way, it would be pointing at our awards cupboard. <laughs> yeah. But I can't. Um, but please do, if you have enjoyed our service in any form, whether it's via the stream or some technical support, or you've actually bought something from us in the last 12 months um, or longer, doesn't have to be the last 12 months, uh, please do vote for us. We would hugely appreciate it because uh, we'd really like to win. <laughs> 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 Not competitive or anything. <laughs> no. But do vote for us. Yes, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, Beta Carotin, like your handle, said, if a if you're a hiker, look at the Think Tank Rotation 180 backpacks. Awesome convenience and speed. Yes. Mm. Sister company of Think Tank is also Mindshift Gear, and they also do... So it's uh, mostly hiking gear. Yeah, isn't it? so Mindshift, Mindshift is, mostly, is all, like, yeah. outdoorsy stuff. They do more kind of uh, earthy color schemes as well, I mm. would say. Well, speaking of Think Tank, I have a Think Tank takeoff, which is backpack slash rolling case, mm. and it's good because it's a little bit bigger, and I normally put one studio light in there as well together with the, my photographic equipment right yeah. um I, I use what was i using the other day i was using the urban, urban approach which mm. is my kind of it's bigger than the, than the billingham bag mm -hmm. but it's really a camera bag you can't use it as a kind of day bag really mm -hmm. um so my my billingham is my go everywhere bag and mm -hmm. then the think tank is like i have a shoot where i need to carry a 500 mil pf and a, but yeah then True. then i True. use that one um Nick said, my Billingham backpack is great for a long walk. Yes, also useful photography work. I mean, funnily enough, Billingham were, Mr. Billingham, Martin Billingham, made fishing bags before they were camera bags. Mm. And then uh, they became a camera bag sensation. Is that the, the fishing market was just shrinking and they were looking at the know. new ways? I don't know whether someone decided to use them for cameras or whether he thought it would be a good idea. But then, you know, within a couple of months, they were absolutely everywhere. Gray's got some great stories from sort of KJP in the uh, in the 70s mm -hmm. when he came in and actually showed the bags. And literally within weeks, every assistant was carrying a Billingham bag. It became a kind of a status, really. Oh, yeah, they're beautiful bags, absolutely. They really are, and they're all handmade, and we know the team. You actually can even find out who hand-stitched your bag. They have in the thread, believe it or not, if you get it under a microscope, it does say product of Billingham wow. in the thread. I mean, the, nice. the attention to detail is, is insane. Thank you, Matt, for voting for us, Thanks and so Brian, and Nick Can, who said that he's already voted, and John, um, hugely appreciated. Tell your friends. <laughs> Um, and that would be fantastic. Uh, and then please do give us a thumbs up because I've just looked and we've got like about a hundred people disparity. So if you are enjoying it, please do give us a like. We very much appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Alex said, what's your opinion or impression of the brand? Uh, Baz Shim oh, sorry, Brandon Bags Shimoda produce do you know shimoda bags uh, i've heard of them but i don't have any personal experience with them okay fair enough so sorry can't give you a personal yeah. personal uh, opinion on that they're one. supposed to be good if anyone in the comments anyone watching has any experience then please help alex out it would be hugely appreciated oh dp review a couple of months ago had a test of the hiking backpacks so if you go i think it's on dp review tv on youtube channel mm. so uh yeah if you want to see the comparison that's really good they like did lots of tests, like putting water over them, like jumping on them, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah. good fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. John says actually he got the wife a Shimoda 50 liter Explorer mm. with lady straps. Very important because um, we're built differently. Oh, no, no, <laughs> they do two versions. That's right, which is, yeah, which is a cool thing. That is very cool. Yeah, yeah I, I do so. find backpacks can be a bit, you know, not lady friendly. <laughs> well, yeah, the world is not designed, isn't it, around <laughs> women? And I'm glad it's changing. So it it's, is, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, and thank you to John and Alan, Adam, everyone who has voted for us, uh, just making sure that I know that they voted for us. So thank you for thank that. Thank you very much. Um, and Think Tank are very, very adaptable as well. Think Tank belt with lens pouches. Like if you don't want a backpack, then you can get the speed belt with all the bits hanging off them. Um, it's a bit like a Batman utility mm. belt, but for cameras. <laughs> so yeah. You want to look like Batman? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or the Batarang. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so yes. I think, did I cover all of our offers? We've got the filters, the second hand, 15% off. We've got 10% off Hawksman and Think Tank. Mm -hmm, and then we've good. got the instant savings on the Z6, Z7, and Z50. Yeah. I didn't forget anything. Brilliant. Um, I will add the link for voting 
in the description box, Nick, I think that's a good idea, or in the comments, I don't know if I can do it in the description box. I can't multitask while I'm talking to people, but that's a very good idea, I should do that. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, we have a competition that we need to do before I forget. Yes, yes. or oh, the papaya. The papaya competition. The papaya, papaya 50 competition. 51 of you entered, I think it was. 51, yes, 51 of you entered the papaya competition. It wasn't to win uh, a papaya. <laughs> It was to win this very, very lovely Phil McKenna Aviation 2022 calendar. Yay. So there were a couple of versions of this calendar um, and someone won, it la won one of them last week. And then this is the other one that we have available. It's very beautiful. If you like planes, if you like nice photos, um, then that is, is worth both entering for. But unfortunately, it's the last one. So if you didn't enter already, then it's too late, sadly. Too late. Boo. Um, you snooze, you lose. Michael George said, please, miss, I want to let you know I voted for you. Thank you, Michael. Very much appreciated. <laughs> and look, lots of people who can recommend Shimoda bags. Yeah. So that's fab. Thank you for doing that. Um, all right. Here we go. Let's do this window. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> the uh, tension. Is palpable. Ooh. Glenn's Kitchen. Yay. Papaya well done. The best. Well, well done. Glenn's Kitchen, please drop us a line to media at grayswestminster.co.uk with your details so I can get that sent out to you. If you're not in the UK, please include a phone number as well as your email address just because customs is annoying. If you're in the UK, you don't have to put a phone mm -hmm. number. Um, and then we'll get that sent out. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, exactly. Um, any other deals or offers that you want to include and share with the group, please do. I will um, put a link to the voting segment after I finish mm -hmm. the stream to make my life a little bit easier. Okay, let's just talk non-photography for a minute. Okay. Okay, what non-photography, apart from coffee, what non-photography purchase are you going to buy when you get home? Well, standing desk, yeah, that was one, another one. I that consider I that yeah. like a work experience. Well, it, it is a work experience, <laughs> yes. Something uh, that is different. <laughs> no, I, hmm. No, it's all work and no Okay, play. well, I bought a couple of P PS5 games. Okay, so there we go. Now, now the sales, truth's coming so out. That was the Guardians of the Galaxy. It's supposed to be really good. Mm -hmm. So I got that. Um... That's it. That's it. Yeah, okay. I don't. I don't. You know, I'm. You know, buy things. I'm in the saving mode. You know, <laughs> really. <laughs> Spend too much money on photography. On photography and coffee. Okay. Yeah. Well, as you know, I have two small people. Yes. <laughs> that have very expensive tastes. Yeah. One of them has been saving up for the last twelve months for a new gaming PC. Mm. I'm gonna see if we can find any deals when they get home. But it's gonna be tough. It is gonna it's be gonna tough. It's gonna be tough. I mean, the laptops are probably yeah. It's good to get like if you want laptops a one package here. Yeah, well. I Very guess lovely. maybe he's going to build it himself. Uh, exactly. You know? Maybe he'll come to Uncle Constantine's yeah, house. and <laughs> can give him some tech support. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. fine. Exactly. And, um, and then my youngest wants a Nintendo Switch. So again, mm. pooling money, he has actually also been saving up for quite a while. So we're just going to okay. push he, it over the edge. Is he going to go for light or OLED? No, it's going to be the, the original, the but the improved battery version. Okay. With... Um, Actually, Game are doing a good deal okay. on that, where they've got a couple of games preloaded. And Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's it. you got to catch them all. And we've just lost a bunch. No, I'm joking. That's <laughs> it. And we have two <laughs> views left. So, yeah. Oh, dear. Um, just before we go, Ignacio said, any Z30 rumor? Lots of them. None that are founded, I don't think. No. I think let's enjoy Z9 right now, so because there are no many other rumors around. And I'm sure we're going to have... A whole year ahead to think about Z30, Z8, bunch of lenses. So I'm sure the whole information will come, but let's just enjoy that. Let's give this space for Z9. I think it deserves it because it is a groundbreaking camera. It is, exactly. And then we may, we'll see what next year brings us. Yeah, I think we are kind of at the, in the end of the year mode right now. So there's not much information coming out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So expect from us lots of things in the run up to, to Christmas. We've got all kinds of things in store for you and planned so that we don't leave you in the lurch when we're actually on our Christmas break. We've got things that yeah. we're going to get ready now so that they're uploaded and stuff. Oh, yeah. We have shoots scheduled every week, basically, at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Oliver said, thankfully, managed to get my new gaming photo PC just before prices went mad. They are mental. Yeah. <laughs> the prices are bonkers. No, honestly, I've got my RTX 3080. 
two people understand what I just said. Oliver understands. Uh, you know, Oliver understands. <laughs> I got it at 649, right? So mm. I could sell it. Well, I waited for two months to get it, but I could sell it at the time I would get it for double, at least double. Because people apparently mine in Ethereum and some other currencies oh, like this. So, so that's why it's like a lot of that is to do with this. But now the new video cards are easier to get because they got limiters on mining. So they're supposed to be easier to get because you can't really mine as much on those. There you go. Yeah. Right, it's a whole new, whole new world. It's not a world, yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay so we, no, we don't know anything on any lenses or anything, but if you are wanting news on rumors and what we do know, or don't know as the case may be, uh, the Nikon Report is the place to go. So we will bring out a new Nikon Report next week. It comes out usually every Wednesday. Yeah, every Wednesday, I think next week is gonna come out on Thursday morning because we, we had to reshuffle a little bit. So we're filming on Tuesday, so I'm gonna be editing on Wednesday. Yeah. So yeah, ne next Thursday, you'll get the new Nikon report with yeah. all the goodies. Exactly, so anything that we know or can comment on, then obviously we will put it in there. But at the moment, we don't have any At the moment, no comment. Yeah, exactly. Right, thank you everyone for joining us for this hour of fun on Not Black Friday. And uh, we will see you next week. Please do feel free to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give the stream a like because it really does help the channel very, very much. And we will see you next week. Bye-bye.